and welcome to our live crafting video. It is the 14th of July 2022. My name is Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you for joining me. If you are joining live and have any questions or just want to say hi to let me know that you're here, then do pop on and add a comment in the comments area. It would be lovely to know who's watching and so I can acknowledge you as well. And if you're watching on replay or catch up, whether that is on Facebook or on YouTube, then hi and welcome to you. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me or comment. So good evening to Tracy. I can see Tracy has joined us so far already. So this week we have been featuring the Tube True Beauty stamp set. That was actually most of last week. And then this week we've used the dies that go with that. So this week's um, set of cards have included this one on Monday using that trellis um, lattice die, whatever you want to call it. I switched between trellis and lattice depending on which one I remember. Um, we did an ombre version. Oh, I've just spotted that one. Needs a bit of glue. Let's just put that right while I remember. Um, so this was an ombre version on Tuesday. And that's just using the die there and then filling the sections in. I'm going to mute myself off my phone. Let me pop this one back in. Obviously it didn't put enough in or it's just got caught as I've taken it out and um, put it back in. There we go. Okay, so that was that one. And then yesterday's card. Hi, Carol. How lovely to see you join us. Haven't seen you for ages. So yesterday's card was using just some offcuts of those lovely papers, the Washing Beauty papers. And I've cut out some from the papers with that lattice die. This one here. It's still got the lattice in it, look. Um, there it is. Peel that off because um, that's perfect for another use. So that's the back of that side, and then that's the um, the side that I cut out. That's really pretty actually with those elements on. But I cut some of those out, and then I just use this, if you like, as a. Um, What's the word? Can't think of the word. Um, so I could put them in so it fitted. Not a well, it is a stencil, but it's not the word I'm thinking of. Who knows? <laughs> It'll come to me. It'll come to me in the end. So um, there's one thing. Well, there's lots of things I haven't done yet with this combination. But given that you've had two weeks of me doing this, I thought I'd better give you um, all a break. Let's centralise that a bit better. Um, so my final card is going to be on white. I'm going to use a white panel, which I'll probably put a coloured layer behind. And one thing I haven't done is use this as a stencil to just stencil over a little bit of backing and then I'm going to stamp onto the top of it. So very similar to these two here particularly this one but instead of using the actual die cut I'm just going to stencil through the die cut piece so that is my plan um, I'm going to use flirty flamingo for my stamp petal pink for the backing and probably granny apple green for my leaves so I'm just going to be using petal pink for a very soft background. Let me grab a spare piece of grid paper. 
and you could do this obviously either way if you wanted to do it this way you would stencil part of it and then overlap it because this is um i've just got no words tonight <laughs> this is symmetrical so you can move it over and it will still all fit so for my one here i am going to do it this way round because I want to stamp that big um, set of leaves so I'm just going to pop this on here and I might just stick it down with a little bit of tape just so I don't have to hold it all the time right so that's on there let's grab a pink brush hopefully this one is pale enough yes it is so this is petal pink so i'm picking up the ink on my brush and i'm going to run some of it off on here because I don't want it too dark. Now this petal pink obviously is a light pink anyway. So I'm just going to ink that up. And then use that circular motion. Over. Effectively I've created a mask. so I just happened to have cut this one out of blue this was one that I used to create the main panel here when I cut out the three different colors so I've got a set of blue a set of green and a set of the Tahitian Tide colors so even if you're not going to use that to start with what I do is just pop it in a bag whoops like so and then I'll keep it with the die set so that if I do come in and need one if I only want it for a stencil I can use any that are there So let's just see. I'm just going to lift this bottom corner up carefully. Like so. Just lift it up so you can see. Hopefully you'll see a little bit of that detail on there. put it back in its place there we go it's quite easy to realign so I just want to add a little bit more color here I have my main flower in there So I really, I'm really just using this as a light background. Hi Katie. Thanks for joining us. I hope you're keeping well. Now when I've done my stamping of my image, if I think I need some more, I can go back and add a little bit more of this detail. It won't be very easy to do it where my image is, but I can go around it very easily. Okay, just want to put a little bit up on this corner. So 
so for those that are waiting for my class in the box for this month I have um, done the projects I just need to narrow them down because I've got about 12 projects <laughs> which is too many for a class in a box so I need to just narrow those down okay so I hope you can see that little bit of detail there as a backing now if you wanted to you could go in and position this over again to get a smaller pattern. Let me just lift it up so you can see what I've done. So I can put this over and line it up between the lines I've already got and I could do another layer over there if I wanted to. Or if you had two, you could put the two together and brush through those together. Hi D. Okay, thanks for joining us. So there's my um, light background. Now I'm going to add my flower. So I'm using Granny Apple Green for my stalk. So I'm using this larger petal. And what I want to do is arrange it so that my flower head is on this lighter piece. I'm just going to see if I've got enough ink on here so I'm just looking at the color yes that will that will do fine okay I'm just going to turn this on its side because I find it easier to stamp like that than like that so I'm just re-inking this so like that there we go so it gives a 3d effect without you having um, more than one layer okay next I've got my rose flower so I've got flirty flamingo here So I'm just going to see if this is going to be deep enough. I think it is. I want to do one thing. Just to, I'm going to add a little bit of Calypso Coral. onto that stamp. Let me just see what this looks like on its own. Hmm. Might actually <laughs> just do it in Calypso Coral. It's a nice deep orangey pink. Okay, so I know that this stamp is in from the edge and I can see I've caught the little bit of the edge with the ink, but I'm hoping I don't press too hard and I won't catch it. Famous last words, folks. Okay. There we go. So there's our flower added. So I could, if I wanted to, pop my... Effectively, my mask back on and if I wanted to add some more detail right up to the flower I could do that so I'm just going to add a little bit in here making sure I don't put it in Calypso Coral by mistake just got a little shade more in there and I could do the same up here as well I might just do that so let me just add a little more ink so I hope everybody has had a good day 
The week has gone remarkably quickly, that is for sure. I know I've been busy, but it just seems to have gone far quicker than it really should have done. But we're getting there. We're catching up. So my class in the box should be released this evening. Watch out for details of that by email, but also here on this Facebook page. So I've just got to finalise which projects, photograph them, and then do all of the um, associated paperwork for it. There we go. Can you see that? So it gives a 3D impression without requiring the items to be die cut. I'm going to add a sentiment. So I'm going to use that Calypso Coral. I just want a really nice bold sentiment for that. Let's see what I've got just to hand. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go for uh, just for you I think this is from celebrating you nicely let's pop it on pop it onto this block here ink it up and I'm just going to check that I may have it straight so I try and straighten it to the block because I may put the label on slightly wonky so you can see that is going downhill That's better. Must have been my execution. Okay, so just re inking that with my Calypso Coral. it on there so I've got my just for you and then I'm going to layer that onto a white base card and I am going to find my glasses and grab a piece of Calypso coral card to put behind so that it all um, goes together nicely so here is my white card. You could, of course, just leave it. White on white always looks quite um, smart. have some clips of coral. don't think this one's big enough. Nope. But this one is. So I'm just going to chop this down. So this width is nine and a half. So this is going to be 10 centimetres. So just going to trim that down to 10 by 14.35. Or taking half a centimeter off if you prefer to do it that way. 
okay so that's going to hop onto there this is going to hop onto there i'm just going to add a little bit of bling to finish that off and the card is done so a nice easy end for this week's collection so we are at copy and cards tomorrow and i'm using a different set of products tomorrow so if you are in the Brackley area, Northamptonshire, then you're always welcome to join us. And we're in Toaster in Northamptonshire on Monday. Okay, so there's our layers. And that ink is all dried already. Let's just turn it over. And I'll just use the bone folder on the crease. Just make sure it stands up nicely. Okay, and then all I'm going to add is a little bit of bling. I can find find it. disappears to the bottom of my bag but no it's not even there okay. I have some here so I think those will work nicely the little iridescent gems They've got a little bit of a pinky orange tint, if you can see that. I think that'll work well with my Calypso coral piece. Put those away. If you're wondering how to clean the brushes, um, you can just um, soak them in a little bowl of washing up liquid and warm water. Just leave them there to soak for a little while and just let them air dry um, I leave mine I wash them right in the very early days to try it out and I haven't washed them since um, because the ink will dry out over time on the each of the nibs anyway and so I just keep some for each colour so I've got two blues two pinks and two greens because they're the most popular colours that we use but then I have a brown purple um, red yellow so you can see there's my yellow one and so there might be some residual on there if I needed to clean it off very so often then I will just clean it like that or you can just brush it on a piece of paper and there we go that's our finished card nice and simple so I've used the um, die cut as a mask or a stencil if you like popped it onto my piece of white card used a blending brush and some ink over the top in this case I used petal pink I then stamped the leaf over the top of that and then in this case the rose with calypso coral and then i just added a few gems and layered it up to finish what is a very simple card so thank you so much for watching um, if you want to see any of the others that i have created um, then you can look um, through my youtube channel i have specifically a playlist for this um, Swede products and you can see how all of these were created and then last week I featured really just the stamp set so there's more um, to look at than I'm showing you here so thank you so much I hope you all have a good evening and I will be back 
on Monday for Facebook Live, but I will pop on tomorrow to show you the card designs for this month. It does feature the fantastic Sun Prince papers, but I matched it up with something completely different. So I do hope you're able to see that. And if you like to subscribe to my class in a box, anybody in the UK can do that just for £20 and you'll get at least £15 worth of product. And typically all you would need are sentiment stamps or peel-offs if you have them, some adhesive and a paper trimmer or guillotine and um, something to score your card with. And you can create the cards in the box because all of the cardstock, the papers and the die cuts are all included in the price. Thank you so much. I will let you get on to your evening. Um, thank you for joining me. Do take care and um, I hope you can keep crafting. Bye for now.